best gear is the gear you have on you. And what is up, guys? It's your average gear reviewer here, back again with another banger for you. In this one, guys, this is going to be the follow-up video to our Ultimate EDC guide. And if you remember in the first video, we boiled everything down to just the five essentials that I felt like would be a pretty universal starter EDC kit for anybody out there. The operative word there is starter. Now this was a beginner kit for somebody that's new to EDC starting out. And what I felt like the five most essential items were that would be a good start for anybody, pretty much a generic basic EDC kit that could get you started. Get you started on your EDC journey, get you sort of, uh, you know, down the road. But uh, in this next video for the EDC journey, we are going to expand on that basic EDC and show you some ways that you can expand your capabilities, uh, ways to make things a little bit easier on you guys. The fourth thing in this video is going to be the most important thing to me, in my opinion. And there'll be a couple of different parts to it, a couple of different sections there. So uh, be on the lookout for that one. But just a quick reminder for anybody that might have missed that first video. The first video, we went over the five essential things you need to start your basic EDC. And those things were, to me, a good RFID blocking wallet. And this one is from Mirrored and Tactical Gear. Again, guys, if you haven't seen that video, go ahead and watch the that The second one. thing, you know, is going to be a knife. Of course, we got to have our knife. The third thing was a multi-tool. Fourth thing was a flashlight. And the fifth thing, I'll have to take off my watch again because I always have it on my arm. But anyway, the fourth, the fifth uh, and final thing was a watch. So those are the things that I believe are the five, these are your five essentials, the basics that you need to cover most situations and to get you started down the road to EDC. Now these, this is not a complete carry. Anybody that EDCs or has EDCed for very long, you know that this is not a complete carry. You're not covering all your bases. And you're not maximizing the potential of what you could have on you. But like I said in the first video, this was just a good start. You can't, you can't cover every situation, but you can be more prepared. So that's what this video is going to be about. It's going to be about adding to your EDC and hopefully making you a little bit more prepared. So uh, let's get into that section. The first thing I'm going to... The first thing that we're going to add to our EDC, and I did mention it briefly in the last video. I, I really think it's something that you should, probably should be carrying anyway. But I didn't feel like it was essential enough that, you know, it was just a deal breaker type of item. But if you're going to expand on your EDC at all, add a lighter. It, whether or not you're a smoker, it doesn't matter. You have the ability to produce fire in your pocket. That is never a bad thing. I keep a, a small amount of duct tape wrapped around on mine. And you can see where I've peeled pieces off of it here and there. I carry some Gorilla Tape on there. That's some of the best duct tape that I've found. Some of the toughest duct tape. Um, but you could also use gaffer's tape. I've heard it works really, really well, too. Um, but, yeah, you just wrap it around your lighter, and then when you need some, you peel a little section off, you use it. Once it runs out, you can rewrap it. But I, I actually have never had the duct tape run out before the lighter did. So that is one thing to consider. You don't want to wrap up too much duct tape on here because at some point you may have to peel it off or just throw it away with the lighter. And um, you'll notice I have some filament around here. It's the insides of some 550 cord I keep wrapped up here that makes a great fire starter. Or you can um, you can use it as some fine twine or thread if you needed to in an emergency situation. Again, it's just using space that's already being taken up and just expanding on that a little bit. And that's sort of the point of a lot of things in EDC is just maximizing that potential, um, minimizing the impact on your pockets because the 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 more efficient your carry is, the less things you have to carry around. And of course, that's a big concern for anybody is how much you're carrying that adds to your overall weight all day. So if you're on your feet all day, the more weight you add, the more weight you're going to carry. Um, that's something in the Army that we were acutely aware of because when you go out on patrols, you got to pack your rucksack. Well, you can pack it with enough stuff for seven days, but brother, you're going to be miserable trying to lug it around. So we had to figure out a fine line between what we really absolutely needed to have on us and what we might need to have to cover certain emergencies. And then the rest, you just kind of, you know, let go of the extra stuff. So uh, that's why the lighter is going to be the first thing that I add. And you guys know, if you've seen any of my other videos, you probably already know that I am a big fan of the lighter bro. This is the lighter bro pro version. So it does offer a few options over just your standard lighter bro. It has some hex, a large and small hex key. 
um, holders there so you can use them as a bit driver. It has these uh, directional sort of slotted wrench sections that you can use. It has a knife. It's got a poker tool with a flat screwdriver on it and a small pair of scissors. And again, this doesn't add much to just the overall profile of the of the lighter at all, but it expands on that capability. So that's what this video mainly is about is just expanding on those capabilities that 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 you already have. Um, so the next thing that we're going to get into, uh, and I think this one may not be a big deal for everybody. And if you've never carried one of these, you may not really think that you even want to. But to me, um, a pry bar is something that's that I've just started carrying recently, and I've I've actually kind of figured out why a lot of EDC guys carry a pry bar. Um, you know, we all want to carry tough knives and, you know, we all want to have a knife in our pocket that we know is strong and durable and capable. But guys, I can't tell you how many times I've had a knife and needed to pry something and didn't have anything to pry it with. Now, a lot of your multi-tools are going to have flathead screwdrivers or pry attachments that, you know, you can pry smaller things if you need to. But uh, something like a dedicated pry bar is not a bad idea to add to your EDC. Um, this one is the Lynch Northwest Best Case Scenario. It does have a bottle opener on it. Um, but it's got a really nice chiseled head here. And, I mean, you could pop doorways, windows. You know, these are for getting you into those areas that uh, you do not have access to regularly. And I believe this is also a can opener, too, because it's... It's kind of ridged in there, but uh, yeah, this is lightweight. It's a solid piece of titanium and it weighs next to nothing, but it's super capable. And these do come with a lifetime warranty from Lynch Northwest. So, um, they, there's smaller ones you can get. You can get these, I think, um, County Calm sells some of these maybe. And it's just a small nail, nail puller, um, pry bar type of tool with some 550 cord wrapped around it. I got this one sent to me from my buddy over at Surviving the Daily. Shout out to Surviving the Daily. Um, Olight um, makes a couple of different pry bars. This one's the um, P2 Mini. And again, it's an anodized titanium. You'll notice it does have a bit driver here um, for smaller hex bits. It does have a bottle opener there. You know, of course, you got to have a bottle opener on every piece of equipment. That can I, real quick, can I just ask a question of the EDC community? And you guys, let me know down in the in the uh, comments below. Why do we need a bottle opener on every EDC tool? Can Can anybody explain this to me in in English? Because I'm not super smart, and and maybe say it slow so that it makes sense. I can't tell you the last time I actually used a bottle opener, guys. Now, I'm not a big, I'm not a drinker. I'll say that. Um, I'll admit that flat out. I'm really not a drinker. I don't drink a lot of beer, so maybe that's why. Um, but I can't tell you the last time that I used a bottle opener. And yet, it's included on almost every multi-tool. Um, I've got some things that aren't even multi-tools that have it on them. And like this pry bar, you know, it has one. This one has one. Um I can't remember the last time I used one, but you know, they're so ubiquitous. Somebody in the comments down below, tell me why is, or is everybody in the EDC community, but me just, uh, alcoholics and, and you have to have a way to open beer all the time. I don't, I don't get it. Maybe there's just something I'm missing. Um, it, but a, a bottle opener, I, I can't remember the last time I used one. Um, can openers are super handy to have, I think, you know, um, but a bottle opener, I just don't. I'm scratching my head on that one, guys. So anyway, um, let's get into the next section, the third thing that we are going to take a look at. Okay, guys, so the third thing I'm going to recommend that you add to your EDC to expand your capabilities. And this one is going to take a lot of different forms, but uh, a pin. I I'm going to say add a pin. Add a pin to your everyday carry. I got so many comments after the first video where people said, why didn't you include a pen? And I was like, I'm so sorry. I'll put it in the next one. I had to tell like six people. I promise I'll put it in the next video. Here it is, guys. It's the pen. I put it in this one. Okay. <laughs> I promised you that it would be here. And here it is. I'll be sure and put this in the, in the down below in, in the chapter so that you, you know, you can just skip to the pen part if that's what you want to see. But yeah, this is the O-Pen Mini. 
Uh, this is a brass version. You can get them. Um, the normal ones are aluminum. This one's a little bit special version. I want. I won this one for uh, it was some kind of contest over there at the Olight Official on Facebook their forums, but um, I can't remember what I want it for, but I want it for a uh, contest. They do have aluminum ones, and these are really neat little pins. I have fairly large size hands, so I wear a, an extra large size glove normally, um, but this pin, I actually can use it, and I have used it before. It, it takes up hardly no space, but yet it's made out of a solid piece of metal that you can put your thumb over the end, and you got a little piece that sticks out here, so you could always use that as a, uh, you know, that's the thing that they uh, mention a lot. Whoa, I had totally screwed my camera up there. Okay. That's something I've seen a lot with the uh, tactical pins where they, um, you know, they're big, aluminum, bulky, but, uh, you know, they could be used as a blunt force weapon. So, and that's kind of the point of the tactical pin there, too. The fourth thing I'm going to recommend, and, and that's a firearm. Okay, guys, this is going to be, and, and let me make sure I'm showing you here so that we know it is unloaded. And just... For safety measures, I'll put it on safe. Now, I'm not saying that I think everybody should be running around out there with a gun. I do think that, as as John Correa over at Act for Self Protection says, sane, sober, morally prudent people have not just the right to carry, but you have as a as a man. You have a responsibility to be the protector, the protector for your family, for those around you, the protector of yourself, because if something happens to you, what happens to your family? So you are tasked with the role of being a protector. And part of that, unfortunately, in modern society, I think means that you need to have a firearm. And not just that you need to have a firearm, guys. And if you don't listen to anything else in the video, please listen to this part. Train with your weapon. Know how to use it. Be comfortable with it, guys. Otherwise, you're more of a liability than you are an asset. If you're not comfortable carrying a firearm, this might be controversial, but don't carry one. If you're uncomfortable with it, don't do it. Um, but, you know, instead of just giving up on it, go get a gun in your hands. Go to a range. Train with it. Shoot. I'm telling you, the more that you get comfortable and familiar with your weapon the more apt you're going to be to carry it and the more apt that it's going to be in your pocket or in your holster, which, you know, obviously I always carry mine in a, in a Kydex holster. I'm not including that as an additional item because I just think if you have a pistol, you have to have a holster. Don't carry a pistol around in your pocket. But you should have that on you. This should be on you. And if in your state that requires a concealed carry permit, go get one. Uh, many states don't require any sort of permits at all. They're constitutional carry states where you can carry openly or you can carry concealed either way. Um, like I said, guys, look up the laws in your state because I don't want to get somebody in trouble here and them say, well, average gear review told me that I could do it. Yeah, that's not going to hold up in court for one thing. And, and for two, don't be throwing me under the bus, okay? Family. You're the protector of your own life. And if you look at scenarios over and over again, it will show you that police are probably not going to be there in a deadly force situation their response time is measured in minutes, and deadly force encounters are a matter of seconds. Go over to active self-protection, guys. If you if you carry a firearm, you should be following active self-protection and watching their videos because they will show you over and over real-time gunfights between normal citizens, police, and everything in between. Criminals, concealed carriers, you, you could just see it over and over and over again. These encounters are a matter of seconds. And if you don't have it on you, if you're not proficient with it, you know, the, the outcome is probably not going to be good. And then again, what's going to happen to your family? Who's going to take care of them? Who's going to protect them? So, guys, it, we should all be carrying firearms. We have the right under the Constitution. And this is at people in the U.S., by the way. If you're watching in another country, I understand that your laws are different. If you're watching this over in the U.K., I understand that you you can't even carry this. I get it. Um, and that's one of my main arguments against gun control. You guys can't even have lock blade knives over there now. Um, so yeah, it, it's a never ending it's a never ending thing. Once they start, it it just will be everything will be taken away from us. So 
anyway, I, I don't want to get off on a 2A rant here, guys. But anyway, I feel like I spent a lot of time on that. And, and I do apologize if you're not a fan of guns. I get it. Um, this is why I didn't include this in the first in the first video, honestly, because some people are not able to carry guns. They're, le they're legally prohibited from carrying firearms. So, you know, th it, this may not even be an option for you. But to me, if you're able to carry one... Um, then you should have one and you should get comfortable with it and you should be proficient with it because otherwise you're more of a liability than an asset. Uh, another thing that I didn't, I wasn't including the holster with this object and I also didn't include the light, but guys, I think you should have a weapon mounted light at least. Um, I like to have an, a laser light combo on mine because it gives you options. Um, you know, Anybody that's been in law enforcement, that's been in any type of military, will tell you that you, you need a, at least a weapon-mounted light. You, you have to be able to illuminate, um, and you can even use that light to disorient people, you know, so you may not even have to fire the weapon. But it uh, should have a good weapon-mounted light, and in my opinion, a laser on it, but that's up to you. So uh, we've got one more thing left, guys. One more thing left in here, and I, at this point, I, I just want to ask you guys... What do you think about the EDC series so far? You know, our first our first item was our first five basic items. This one, I'm trying to expand on that EDC a little bit, um, to give you some, expand your capabilities, expand your, you know, um, readiness in certain situations. And um, I just want to know what you guys think. Give me, uh, I'd love to see your comments down below, uh, you know, um, what you think about this addition to the five basic items and maybe what you would have done differently. The first video, I got a lot of really good comments, a lot of good ideas that changed my way of thinking about some things. So keep them comments coming in, guys. If you like the video, hey, smash that like button down below real quick. Just go hit it right now while we're here. You won't miss anything. Uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel, guys, and you want to stay up to date on the latest EDC gear that's coming out, you want to get heads up on the best deals, you want to see some cool unboxings and have some fun and uh, get some good insightful reviews on products that are out there, consider subscribing to the channel because that is what we're offering you and we're offering it free of charge. So, uh, you know, go down there and hit that subscribe button. So the last thing I'm going to get into, and this is honestly, this is a sort of a new addition for me. It's not something that I was carrying before, but, uh, it is a pocket organizer. Ooh. Ah. I know. I can just hear the comment section now. Somebody just rolled their eyes really loudly. And I heard that. Bear with me here. This is a... Uh, it's a front pocket organizer. And I have never been a big fan of these. I've never carried one. All the ones I'd ever seen were really bulky. But I got a hold of this one from a buddy of mine. Um, the Knife Eye King over on Instagram. And he's experimenting with these different types of packs and materials. And this is a front pocket organizer. Has a large main pocket. It has two outer pockets here. And then a couple of pieces of elastic to hold things on the outside as well. It's made out of an X-Pack material. And guys, it is, it's so light. I mean, it is unbelievably light. The weight of this is basically whatever you put in it. That's <laughs> what it seems like to me. So I've been using it in my pocket to sort of aggregate some of these things that I'm carrying um, and get them into a real easy to reach place, you know, easy to get to, easy to find when I need them. And they're all organized there nicely in my front pocket. It, I, I got to say, guys, I really am a big fan of this. I have had it in my pocket since I got it. And that is, that's no exaggeration. I've had this thing in my pocket since I got it. And this is, I'm trying to set it up the way I've been carrying it lately. And I'll show you guys what I've been doing with it. Just show you some of the options. Um, okay. So yeah, you can see the elastic holds it right there on the outside. And I like it that, um, <laughs> this is probably not a big deal to anybody but me. I could, could turn that on and kind of sit it down and use it as a little illumination stand. Yeah, I know that's dorky. Anyway. Um, so this is going to be the, uh, fifth item that I'll recommend to help you expand your EDC. And the way that it's going to do that is it's going to allow you to keep some of these smaller items that tend to float around in your pocket. It allows you to sort of aggregate them into one space. And I, I, I'm telling you guys, I've been carrying this around and I, I forget that it's in my pocket a lot of times. It's just so lightweight. 
and it keeps everything sort of just in a little tight bundle there. So you, you really just don't even notice that you have it on it. Um, but yeah, guys, tell me what you think. This is my, um, this is my recommendation here. These are the five things you need to add to that basic EDC. That's really going to help you expand your capabilities. It's going to increase your readiness, your, uh, and just, you know, your ability to be the protector that you need to be in this, those situations. And, and, you know, guys, we all hope that we never face that kind of adversity. Um, but one of the things that I clearly remember from the military is train hard and fight easy. So, guys, this is your average gear reviewer. Always be caring. And don't forget, the best gear is the gear you have on you. I'm out of here.